The next question that comes up is, what makes you think, by internal usage, this product can do any good? Okay? Nobody has ever proved that using a silver product internally could do anything at all. You'll see that argument everywhere. This is a 124-person study, four different hospitals in Africa. We didn't go to them, they asked us. You'll notice on there as you go down, they use it for things like eye infections, ear infections, urinary tract infections, sore throats, abdominal pain and diarrhea, bronchitis, vaginal yeast infections, sexually transmitted diseases like gonorrhea. They had viral infections, upper respiratory tract infections. They used the product at about an ounce a day. At that level, all 20, 124 of those people were in full recovery in an average of less than a week. Okay? We proved that internal usage of the product could, in fact, help your body to recover and recover very quickly. Malaria is the second leading cause of death on the planet. I touched on that. We've done 54 cases. That's why they ask us to go in and testify before Congress. Nobody can cure malaria, okay? The pharmaceutical products that are out there are so nasty that they're almost as bad as having malaria just to try them. At a level of using an ounce a day in two divided doses, we were able to wipe out the protozoa from the bloodstream in an average of 3.43 days. Full recovery, walking out of the hospital in an average of five days. Nobody can do that. Okay, we can. Now what we're going to do is go through a little bit of testing. You need to know what kind of information is behind this product. And this is actually probably half of the studies I have. And you have to think of this not just as a product, but as a technology. It's not a product, it's a new technology. And that technology can help you. Yeast testing. Yeast is a huge problem. The first one, University of California, Davis. They found that it would completely inhibit the growth of yeast. Second one, huge study against a whole bunch of vi vaginal pathogens, including yeast. Veritas Bio Biopharma, Candida. Candida is a major cause of diaper rash for children, a major cause of women's vaginal yeast infections. Okay? I just finished a series of tests. It'll be at the end where we're going to get full EPA approval with a 10-minute kill time, all right? What we have is we have a lot of different groups. We don't use one lab. You can't use one lab. We use the top lab in every area. When you see it, you'll notice that when we did SARS, we went to the government NIH lab. When we did anthrax, we went to Illinois Institute of Technology because they were the best. When we did food disinfection, we went to Kansas State because they're the number one. When we did yeast, we went to the University of California, Davis, because they're number one. Nobody can argue with our numbers because one, they're all independent, and two, we go to the top sources. When you start looking at these, the first one, Brigham Young University, they found that it was more effective than one antibiotic from each of the five major groups of antibiotics. I have to tell you, I'm not down on antibiotics. I think they have their place. Doctors will be the first one to tell you, do not use antibiotics as a first line of defense. The problem is they become resistant. So what do you do? You have nothing. We as parents have nothing if we don't use it. How many people go into their doctor and say, look doc, I want something now, my kid is sick. He's got a viral infection. Doesn't do anything, but he gives you one because you demand it, okay? Next time he's sick with a bacterial infection, it might not work because you just caused resistance. What we're saying is that you now have a first line of defense. You use it first, and we'll get to it later. You can actually use it in combination with those antibiotics to make it more effective. MRSA, number three, is actually the number one killing pathogen in hospitals in the U.S. The question is, can you kill it? The answer is yes. We can do it. We can do it easily. Pseudomonas aeruginosa, Staph aureus, Salmonella cholerasis. 
In test number four and five, we are talking about 1,740 individual tests. This isn't one test against this bacterium. This is 1,740 individual tests. And yes, we killed them and we passed the EPA test. Nelson Laboratories, tuberculosis, 97.3% kill in 45 minutes. Okay, 45 minutes is not overly impressive until you figure out that tuberculosis is the number one killing pathogen on the planet. Okay, kills more people than any other pathogen. Millions of people a year. There's a book out called Time Bomb. It's a very interesting book because it says in there that resistant strains of tuberculosis will ultimately kill every person on the planet. We've made it so resistant that we can't touch it with antibiotics. We can kill it, okay? We, when I say we, I'm not talking about me, I'm talking about we. Brigham Young University, sporocidal activity, bacillus subtilis, or subtilis as they like to call it. We tested against anthrax because we we're working with the US government. They had some problems, okay? They had anthrax spread in a bunch of buildings. It was a huge problem. We went in and said, look, we can kill it. We have done tests on anthrax. They said, you can't test on anthrax. If you want to get approved for anthrax by the US government, you can't do anthrax. I said, what? They said, no, you actually have to do bacillus subtilis and also Clostridium sporogenes, okay? The average time it takes, the glutaraldehyde products, the nasty products, these are products made with chemicals so ugly that it'll rip your skin off. The average time it takes for those to kill those pathogens is about 10 hours. You'll notice in the series of studies that most of them were four to six, one to eight hours. We're not only killing the pathogen, we're killing the spore. The spore is hard because it's like a seed, okay? It's covered in a hard shell. You can't kill it. We did. It took about eight hours. Eight hours seems like a long time, except for the fact that we were much faster than the, than the nastiest chemical products. This is something you can have in your house. Why in the world would you cover your house with plastic and duct tape? You actually have something in your house now that can kill it, proven to kill it. 